Hi guys, so this is the fire and air reading. Um, water and earth actually won, but in my Lionsgate reading, air and fire came out. So um, I'm doing that first. So I feel like you guys need the message. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with that. So we're going to use the Romantic Angels first, the Romance Angels deck first, and then the Mythical Tarot deck. Okay, guys. So let's see here. Air. Uh, first card. First card. Okay, so reconciliation. Let's be so glad that the retrograde's over. Okay, because this is the first card out, Reconciliation. <gasps> you just, you know, they say the truth is stranger than fiction. So, yeah, Reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Let me see if I can get out of the sun there. So we have reconciliation with a true love, guys. Is that it? Is that what you wanted to know? I guess this needed to be said. So we have getting to know each other. So often when we have the reconciliation card and I have a video about my ex not returning in the retrograde um, and the getting to know each other card um, because people always say, well, I know who I want. Why would I need to get to know them again? Because you've changed, because they've changed. You've grown, they've grown, hopefully. Um, so as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will become even deeper. So with this person, fire and air, your bond is going to become even deeper. This is a romance of a lifetime. It's probably going to teach you a lot of things. And I mean, spiritual growth isn't easy. So I do feel like, you know, I keep her in real love. I don't even know what song it is. Real love, I'm talking about. I don't even know what song it is, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, reconciliation, guys. Love yourself first at the bottom of the deck there. Nothing I can do about I knew already because I was like, don't shoot the messenger because so many people would be like, I don't want anybody returning from the past. Don't shoot the messenger. Oh, I broke the deck. King of, uh, sorry, Knight of Cups and Two of Cups. A love offer from a soulmate. I feel like this is like, it could be like this. You both want to offer each other. Don't blame me. So we have the Justice card now with the Two of Cups, okay? So, um... You know, you're probably going through some karmic lessons with these. And like I said, it's not easy, um, you know, to go through those karmic lessons. And I feel like you probably need things to be more balanced in the relationship. Um, you need to be treated more fairly. And that's the love yourself more that we've seen at the bottom of the deck. Um, are they just going to offer a feather this time when you offer their heart or vice versa? Or are you both ready to offer, you know, that cup, something equal there? <laughs> you couldn't make this up. Um, so there we have, I'm recording it on 8-8, Lion's Gate. So here's the gate. Step forward. Are you worthy of this reconciliation? Have they learned their lesson? Are they going to treat you fairly? Are you going to trust your instincts now? Um, you know, know your worth here with the high priestess. Are you going to put into good use all you've learned? You know, the information you have access to. Um, are you going to put that to good use now and make sure you're, you know, you are treated how you deserve to be treated? But it definitely feels like 
a karmic lesson there okay so let's see this is the mythical tarot deck 78 mythical tarot deck there um it has 78 different illustrators so i'm not going to name them all and we're not going to take all of them either these are all okay i'm gonna look oh the star i'm gonna look at the same time as you guys queen of swords uh so i guess they are for you oh hangman so the situation feels stuck huh the lovers they are for you because we have this was the only one i was going to keep um and i was going to say the three of pentacles but i was also going to say like rebuild in here um so definitely here with this look at this i just did a scorpio read as well like where this was like a divine love connection here um i feel like it was written this was like a written love story you know and this coming back together is destined it's written okay guys don't blame me if you're in an abusive relationship then obviously you're meant to cut that off with the queen of swords energy there you're not you're supposed to love yourself first regardless you know look at things from a different point of view you had to gain this perspective this enlightenment this knowledge here um that's why the situation was stuck still even though you knew you're destined to be with this person the situation stood still like you feel like you could be left hanging around i'm left waiting around why isn't this moving forward why are they being cold towards me when i know this is the person i'm meant to be with the lovers here i know this is my destined partner here and you know um the queen of swords here i kept saying like it might be coming across that you have some sort of attitude problem at this time okay like how you speak to people because we just went through um all the retrogrades i think um jupiter finally goes direct on the 11th of august so you know during this time communication could be a bit rough with this queen of um swords energy here but i feel like what you want to communicate is that you want to work this out you want to work together in laying this foundation and building together here um <clears throat> with this um queen of swords as well here um i feel like you do have a higher knowledge now okay with this hangman um the queen of swords is somebody who has been through this before been through certain aspects of life breakups makeups and all sorts of ups and downs um but this time you know you've gained that clarity that knowledge and it's just like i feel like you're holding on to this feeling of they're the one and you're wondering why it's stuck still when you both want to work this out this will be something you feel within you like you know it's okay if you get a reading and uh, a general read and this everybody's like well the person's coming back this is this sort of thing you will feel like you don't need anybody else to confirm this to you like you know what they're the one i feel this and like i said if this person is beating you around the block use this queen of swords to cut them off because i don't even know why i said that but <laughs> if they are just cut them out of your life that's not a divine partner that you're destined to be with okay but this three of pentacles here it tells me that you will you know um work this out it's like when it reaches the four of pentacles where you can both lay two pentacles make the decision to come together here it's like in the process of coming together the process of being made and put together here you know and it is you know more than just one of you putting in the effort okay maybe one of you was putting in more effort before than the other one okay so that could be why you know things had to change there between you but this seems like a destined partner you will look at life very differently now if this resonates with you like this spiritual awakening with the hangman the lovers and the star this is something that's changed you forever it's like there's no going back here i'm changed forever i've got this knowledge with the um queen of swords here you know i've been enlightened i got clarity this person's the one for me 
Knight of Swords. So swift action needs to be taken um, from the other party, um, the person who's not watching this. So swift action has to be taken from the other party. Be careful with this Knight of Swords because it's like you feel like you know the whole truth and you want to rush in and say your part like, I know we're destined to be together. It seems like they have to come to this understanding themselves. It could be why there's no movement. Um, you know, they're going through this awakening stage, okay? So once they've awakened, we have like then the next pentacle so that, you know, we're both putting in the effort here. So yeah, I, I, I can tell you probably want to, because you know, you want to rush forward and get this moving and just like, let's just get the truth out there. You know, let's take action. But it's like swift action you want in from them. Okay, you want them to be laying their pentacle down already. But it's because you know. So, you know, it's nothing negative. It's just because you know that you're meant to be together here. Judgment, waiting on divine timing. Um, like I said, Judgment Day could be this lion's gate that we're going through. I'm doing this now. So the reason I kept saying, um, you know, if you're in an abusive relationship to cut this off, you'll see now that you see these birds like flying away from it. You'll get messages that either this person is the one or isn't the one for you. OK, so um, this is like after you've transformed here because these people like you know are being resurrected on judgment day for their judgment now so it's like you're going to be judged okay so on the work that you've been doing let's pull it back grab a crystal um so yeah it's like you know the work that you've been doing the energy that you've been putting out there now it's like you're going to it's just the easiest way to explain it going to be judged on it you know and like okay is that person not moving now so we need to give that you know your angels like we need to give that person a nudge now they've been taking their time they've got to move now okay so this is like judgment timing the divines give you your time to move up step up okay you're not moving you know you're going to get that little nudge so they they could be receiving a lot of signs now as well especially with the star card there but a lot of major arcana coming out. Like I said, this just happened in the single Scorpio read. A lot coming out there. Four of Cups. So you could be worried that the offer's never going to come because of this divine timing, you know, that's so annoying to everybody. Like, oh, I'm waiting. You know, you have to wait for divine timing. So you could be getting bored while waiting, you know, because you are so many more steps ahead of them with the star card here it seems like you're um you know light years ahead of how they are on their journey um you could be getting bored of waiting so it could like you could be feeling like ah i want to take on this knight of swords energy and rush towards them but um you're being told to wait be patient with the judgment card here i feel definitely like this is something that was written and it will come to pass okay this offer will come it will not pass you by with the four of cups even if you can't see it it's coming there guys ten of cups it's coming you know, this happiness, this is like your wish, your dream, your desires, what you're manifesting here, like what you want to be. So it's like, you know, when you envision something like, OK, when we're together, it's going to be so happy. That's manifesting. So do that. OK, guys, here I see like your desired outcome coming to fruition here. So, like, you wanting to, like, be with them, like, lay over them and chill with them. Like, it's like a living situation in this card, um, in the Ten of Cups. But I feel like if you are waiting on, I tell you what, we've seen the codependency as well, didn't we? So, if you're waiting on this person's offer to make you feel happy, that's the blockage that's holding up this offer. OK, a lot of people don't like to admit to themselves, but if you want to get to this offer quicker, you know, 
be honest with yourself here, okay? So this Ten of Cups is coming for you. You know, this offer, I feel, will make you happy, but you shouldn't rely on this offer making you happy is what I'm trying to say. Because that is in itself a blockage there. Okay, guys? Let's see. Energy between this fire and water. Eight of Cups. Yeah, you need to leave these old ways behind um, with this um, codependency. Because I feel like when tens are about completion, okay? So... When this ended, it's like your ha happiness ended. So you have to go through this enlightenment and things like this with the hanged man, realizing, you know, there's a little bit more to this relationship than first meets the eye here. But you've got to leave these toxic ways behind you, the codependency of relying on somebody else for your happiness, um, being able to walk away from things that don't serve you here, having to leave things behind, even maybe friends and family at this time um i feel like they have walked away from somebody as well here okay so i feel like they need a little time to process this you feel like um they need to hurry up but i feel like they need some time to process this okay i feel like they could have left somebody so yeah you need to like especially if you're bored okay um don't put all your eggs in one basket so don't depend on them for your happiness you know leave that behind you here okay this offer will come to start working it out and this person could have been very cold with you but i feel like right now they feel like if they communicate with you they may come across wrong they could tell you the truth but it may come across wrong and like like somebody having an attitude. So they're just going to leave it a bit, okay? So don't worry. I know divine timing is a pain in the butt, but this is something that's meant to be here, guys, okay? This true love recognition, uh, recognition, yeah, that's what's coming, yeah? <clears throat> so, yeah, this, this is meant to be. This is true love, and you're meant to reconcile with this person. Please do not shoot the messenger okay guys good luck with this reconciling it's meant to happen it's destined to happen there's nothing that can stop it happening good luck 